Hi everyone! Today we're gonna read a story with lots of spots. The title of our story for today is 101 Dalmatians from Walt Disney. Let's start! Once, there were 10 Dalmatian puppies. Pongo was their father. Purdy was their mother. They all lived in a house in the city with two very nice people. One day, the puppies went for a walk. A woman named Cruella was going by in her car. Cruella was a dog thief. As soon as she saw the puppies, she stopped to count them. Ten! she cried. Ten Dalmatian puppies! I must have them. Two men worked for Cruella. Their names were Horus and Jasper. Horus was short, fat, and dumb. Jasper was tall, thin, and dumb. I want those puppies, she told them. Get them tonight. That night, Jasper and Horus sneaked into the house where the Dalmatians lived. Everyone was asleep. They put the puppies in a big black bag. Then they climbed out the window. The puppies began to bark inside the bag. Pongo and Purdy woke up. The basket was empty. The puppies were gone. Where are the puppies? cried Purdy. I don't know, said Pongo. Then, Pongo had an idea. We will send a message to all the dogs in the city, he said. Maybe someone has seen our puppies. So, Pongo sent a message. The message went from dog to dog. A howl? A growl, a yip, and a yelp. Dalmatian puppies need your help. A bark, a woof, a long bow wow. Find our puppies, find them now. Soon, all the dogs in the city were barking. In an old barn near the city, there lived a horse named Captain, a dog named Colonel, and a cat named Sergeant Tibbs. That night, they heard barking. It was coming from the city. It's a message, said Colonel. Someone is looking for Dalmatian puppies. None here, sir, said Tibbs. Then, they heard more barking. It was coming from a house down the road. Sounds like puppies, said the colonel. I believe you're right, sir, said Tibbs. Then we must go and see if they are Dalmatian puppies, said the colonel. Why do we have to do that? asked the captain. Because of the message, said Tibbs. They marched down the road and up to the old house. The barking got louder and louder. How odd, said the colonel. There is a light in one window. Why is that so odd? asked the captain. Because no one lives here, said Tibbs. They went to the window and peeked in. The room was filled with Dalmatian puppies. A man was holding a big black bag. It was filled with ten more Dalmatian puppies. A woman in a fur coat was saying, Now I have ninety-nine Dalmatian puppies. Tomorrow I will sell all of them to the circus. And the three of us will be rich. The three animals raced 
back to the barn. Then the colonel sent a message, calling all dogs, every mutt and hound. The Dalmatian puppies have been found. A yip, a yelp, a short bow wow. Come and save them. Come right now. Soon, the city dogs were barking again. At last, the message came to Pongo and Purdy. The puppies have been found, cried Pongo. We must go and save them. And they jumped out the window. Pongo and Purdy ran through the city. The city dogs met them along the way. They told Pongo and Purdy how to get to the old barn. When the colonel saw them coming, he called. Are you looking for the Dalmatian puppies? Yes, they called back. Then follow us, said the colonel. They are in an old house down the road. So, Pongo and Purdy followed the colonel, the captain, and Sergeant Tibbs. Pongo and Purdy went into the old house. They saw two men with their puppies. The two men saw them. Well, look who's here, said Jasper. Two big ones. We'll take care of them, won't we? Pongo growled and leaped at Jasper. He bit into Jasper's jacket and pulled it over Jasper's hat. Jasper could not see where he was going. Next, Tibbs leaped up into the air Meow! screeched Tibbs. He landed on Horace's hat. Horace was too scared to do anything. Then, Purdy pulled the rug right out from under the two men. Jasper and Horace crashed to the floor. They were too surprised to move. That takes care of them said Purdy. Now, where are our puppies? Here we are, called one puppy. All 99 of us. 99 puppies, cried Pongo. But there was no time to ask questions. Pongo and Purdy led all 99 puppies out of the house. They began to walk back to the city. Suddenly, they saw a woman in a car. It was Cruella. Somebody stop those dogs, she cried. I have to sell them to the circus. When Pongo and Purdy heard this, they hid the puppies in a shed. Cruella looked all around. Now, where did those little spotted creeps go? She said. Pongo and Purdy were scared. How could they get out? Look, Mom, said one of the puppies. She was rolling in a pile of suit. This is no time to play, said Purdy. We have to think of a way to get out. Then, Purdy thought thought of a way to get out. She told all the puppies to roll in the suit. Soon, they were all covered with suit. Pongo and Purdy led the puppies outside. They went right past Cruella. Cruella paid no attention to them. She was looking for white puppies with black spots, not Gray puppies. They got into a truck that was parked outside. Just as the last puppy was getting in, Cruella cried. Eek! Half of the puppy was gray, but half of the puppy was white with black spots. Just then, the truck drove away. 
Stop! Stop! shouted Cruella. Come back with my puppies! But the truck driver did not hear her. He was on his way to the city. And that is how the Dalmatians got home. The two nice people who lived in the house were happy to see them. They were also a bit surprised. Their family had grown. Now, there were Pongo and Purdy and 99 puppies. 101 Dalmatians in all. It was a good thing they were two very nice people. The end. Did you like our story for today? If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stories. See you!